Alright, hello and welcome back to this clusterfuck of a video of a series, Subnautica Below Zero. Look at the beautiful shark over there. Oh, they got some beautiful creatures in here already. Um, but we're gonna have to leave this place behind for a while because we need to go on land. And um, for going on land is apparently there's a very dangerous creature that we have to keep in mind. We'll always be around. Also, nice things. I needed them. Should get some food with me and make a base up there. But first off, I'll just... I'll bring a seed with me so I do have food. Like a seed of each, you know. So one of that, one of those. And one of these. And let's just do this and this and then eat those. There we go. Now we can plant all of those, plant all of those, plant those. And we'll have enough fruit. Actually, also would like one of those, one of these. But this one is over there, so I can just get it on land. Um, the rest of the stuff I'll need to make once I'm there. But yeah, so today we're planning on going on land. So. Let me just prepare some materials. Wait, some of the titanium craft chest is completely empty. That is not good. This is always nice to bring with. And that is for drinkable water. That's very handy. We don't need any of the other things. Because we don't really have a place for the batteries. Uh, don't need any of these. The rest I can find on land, I think. Of the necessary products I need. So, let us go to land. If I remember correctly, the place I need to be. is look at that picture isn't it beautiful it is currently daytime so i is going to sleep there we go ah what a good night's sleep no it is currently daytime beautiful where well, we want to go It's this way. We have such a long sea truck. We have five cabins and <laughs> wait, let's just look back. Dang. This is no longer just a normal normal sea truck. This is just a sea. No, that's not just a truck. It's like the actual trucks and just like it's not just a small little car that's what it started out as just a small car but now it has become a big truck <laughs> which is enough like I've got every single I think I've got like every single thing you can add to a C truck on there I think this is indeed where I need to go
we couldn't even turn down all the way because just the back of the truck still being out of the water there we go that's what we needed to follow nice and slowly reason I am bringing my sea truck as well is because it's got a fabricator on it which is very handy because I will end up needing to use that a lot Okay, yeah, I'm at the point where I don't want to go down anymore. Yeah, here's the beautiful eye octopi things. Um, I think this is where you go on land. This is one of the locations, yes. I'll go over here. Let me see what happens if I do this. Let's see. It's not on land yet. That's not what we wanted. We want you to be on land. So we're going to turn left a little bit and then go back. There we go. Now we should be on land. Let's see. Just crash. Yup, we're on land. And we're probably about to glitch out if I try and enter that. So a little forward we go. Parking your giant sea truck. Maybe that's perfect. Let's see. Come on. Yee. It is indeed perfect. What is this? I feel a lot of danger from this area and it is because I feel like because I spawned or entered oh no I've been here before okay we're good okay that's a good sign since we've been here before yeah this is where we went past we went over that bridge there and then up to this thing the reason I was uh, afraid is I've seen, I've heard about like, or seen about this um, giant worm that just lives inside of um, the rocks here, inside of the ice cave, and swims through it, so... Oh, yes, let's go. Look, there it is. I guess in order to grab one, we have to do it like this. And then... There we go.
Oh, be careful. Have I gotten everything in here, though? That's a good question. Because if I remember, like... If I remember, remember... Wow. If I remember correctly, there was uh, some crates in here that I couldn't get. Oh nice, I can't even grab this one. Alright, let's go inside of the thing. Like, is there stuff I couldn't bring with me? That is the question I've got right now. Because if there is stuff I can bring with me... Then I is here right now to collect it. Oh yeah, this is map. Um, we're currently over there. We want to go to this. Actually, is that where we want to go? Because Bridge is here. Oh no, this is where we are. In here. So where we want to go is over here. Which is close to the tower. Alright, so that's where we're gonna go, I guess. And that's where we'll find the last part of... At least I hope that's where we find the last part of uh, this thing. These fish are forever in here. Oh, that's what that bed looks like. I would like that bed, honestly. Oh, would you look at that? Beautiful. Pearls over here. Whose place was this again? Doesn't say. Well... I guess there's nothing over here to find. Maybe up here in the back. Over at the teleporter. But we don't know where it goes to yet. I think I did get everything. Well, I am a completionist after all, I love, like, collecting every single thing, although I usually fail at that. So, I think we have that map... Uh, ...somewhere in here. There we go. So we're here. If I'm correct, this is where we are. Oh yeah, because this teleport, this is where the thing is. We want to be going either to the left through here, and then here. Or we want to go to the right. And I think this is where the dangerous creatures are. And this is where we want to end up. titanium don't mind if I do that always helps with creating a base but I feel like pretty soon I'll be attacked uh, by um, something
Oh, I almost got crushed by that one. There we go, we got the snow fox now. Oh, hello. Will you attack me? Yes, it does. in here have I been in here oh god so where on the map am I right now I'm in a cave somewhere in here I think I can walk up this, so... Don't know why I got out. Oh, I, I love the sky in this game. That does not sound good. So right now we're over down here, I think, right? No need to attack me. Um, this is somewhere we still have to go into. I think. Where's my flashlight? God damn it, I didn't bring one. <laughs> signal lost. What do you mean signal? Does that only work on the ground? On the water, I mean. This might be a good place for a base. When we warm up quickly. I think I'm indeed going to place my base up here. Turning daytime, that's always nice. But let me just quickly go back in cave.
Why are you still standing? You shouldn't be standing right now. There you go. Need these. Now let's go up here. We don't have lead, so I guess you just have to do it like this. Oh, it has a staircase to it already. Beautiful. Yeah, but we're above ground, so it's fine. I don't need oxygen production. All I need is to put down an interior grow bed, which I don't have the titanium for, and then get my stuff in there, my, my, my beautiful stuff, my uh, plants, of course. Go. It's good enough. Nice. Uh, now let's see. Can I make another one for the others? Let's go get the seeds, shall we? You're standing again. fit even and we go back up there you go now this will have this one this one this one and one two three four one oh, I'll put the Chinese plant in there I guess this will be this one for now oh it's a snowstorm which means my temperature drops even faster than usual I need is some titanium. And there is some, I think. Yeah, there is. What did I just hear? Somewhere in this wall. Um. 
All right, let's see. So we can now create another one. There we go. Oh, that's how that works. Now it's consumed. So we have extra water now. Everything is in here now. I think we just need power. And for power, all we need is what we have in the bronze suit. I love how we can already hear the beast that we're about to see. Come. There you go. Quartz, copper, and now just some titanium and more quartz. Uh, for that, I guess we're just gonna go around in prawn suit. Some more copper, and here's some more titanium. Just one more quartz, and we're done. Don't you dare. Oh, this is one of the penguin spots. But I don't need penguin to get over here. God, oh dear Jesus. There we go. That one is really deep in there, I cannot grab it. So that's where that is, so Wait, we got a new thingy learned. Where is it? The snow fox of course. Magnetite berry loop I can make that. So glacial basin, this is where the pad is, I think. Or is this that? Hold up. It might be there where we are right now. No, because this is the bridge again um, and we want to go here this is what's up so right now we're back here so we want to go up here so where the base is is over here so we just need to go to the that direction of the base. 
I follow that. And A, I found a way up to my base with this. Wait, that means I was going the correct way though. For um, reaching the place I need to be to finish the game soon. Oh wait, I need to be outside for this. Because what I'm creating is not indoors. What I'm creating is... This. There, look at that. Now these are all growing. That's good. Voila, we got the food resources done. So that's good to know. We only need a way to mark this place. Well, but we know on the map where to be, so we'll probably be able, we'll probably be fine. Um, now let's see. That's where the landing pad is. So if we look on map, that's the landing pad. We're probably over here right now, about to go through this. Yeah, we are. Now we're here. As you can see, that's the river over there, which leads to where we need to be. Oi, oi, oi. I almost made that jump as well. I loaded it at once. I need to find a way back up because I fell down by accident. And I think that way back up is over here somewhere. Yo. Let's try again. Okay, we made it, we made it. You might be cheating the system a little like this, but it is fine. Because when we make it, we got it. Now, I just kind of want to wait and sit back until I can see again. Because this is a little much. You know? Everything is starting to go red because it's night gonna be nighttime soon. But now we can kinda see pretty well. Over there's a cave. Which is this thing, cave right here.
careful. Yeah, I know. I was correct. This is exactly where we are on the map, so we're almost there as well. I think we've gone out here. Yeah, so down here's. Let's see. We need to wait for daytime. Ah, <gasps> it's a little one. Can I teach you to be my friend? Hi! Hi, 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 get off of me! How do I make these babies mine? I think that's what this is for. That's the mama right there, and I am over here with baby snowstalkers. Shh, you're waking up the babies. the information I got by scanning the small guy that oh we got snow stalker for a lot of it but I scanned a juvenile and it how do I bring you with me do I feed you I think this place is solely to collect the fur, nothing else. But I want my own stalker, er, uh, snow stalker though, that would be fun. The small ones are cute too. Um. Wait, I'm all the way on top of the ice. Okay, so... Map this. We are currently... On top of it though. Um, that's this river, so it comes out. On the other side here, I think. And this is, I think, I think this is. Oh, yup, this is where those trees are. So now we're here. We're on this thing. 
So we need to be... Since we're only here right now, we need to be over here. So wait, that didn't locate the place where we need to be. That locates where the babies are, I think. Because it brought me to the babies. Or it's down there, maybe. Just got cave here. These two. This is where I went into. I'm above the cave, so it should be down here indeed. The circle. It leads to here. Maybe this is where we need to be? That's copper and silver, that's always nice. Good day. They are walking babies. What is up here? Yeah, this is nice. Are you stuck? No, this is also growling at me. Hmm. <laughs> that was cute. Look at it. It's so cute. Look at that. I know you like it. Shut up. You too. You like it too. Look. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Come on, stop it. I should bring you a fish. <gasps> it's coming down. It's going down for real. Everybody run. Goodbye little ones. Is that the cave they refer to them on the map? I think it is. I think these are nests and not what I need. I need to be over here. Oi oi oi. It's probably through this. Oh, yo. It's the special ice. Does that mean anything special in here? Let me see. Just some more things. I need that mat kit.
Frost cage. This new multi-structural tree, multi trunk tree, is highly adapted to the harsh conditions of the glacial environment. Nutrient. Look in the background. Oh no. Nutrient sources are infrequent and limited in on the glacier of and these trees create fast growing root system that sear to add rocky material trapped in the ice. The dense foliage will captures energy from the sun via photosynthesis and provides a sheltered environment for the growth of its bioluminescent fruit. Now what is this thing? Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Got shelter. Now what is this thing? Ooh, that's always nice and nutrient. Nice, we can create water and everything. Now we got this map over here. We're now over in this cave. So behind this, the map doesn't help us anymore. Jump scare! No? Oh. <gasps> oh! Parvan. This is a good place to end the video though. Look at those pictures. Is this the cave we're in? Because this is where we need to be. Okay guys, I'm gonna quickly read these new things that we found. So, um, here it is. Let's see. My dearest Adeline and Rosita. No, not dearest. Who says that anymore? Adeline, Rosita. Everything on the mission is going very well. Do you see now? Your doubts were unfounded. I am loved here, and... No, oh, no. Rosita will say, Papa, why do you have to brag all the time? Papa, it's embarrassing. <laughs> I want to apologize. Okay, no, that's taking things too far. I know we didn't leave things on the best note, but I want you to know I love you and I miss you. I don't know why I say the things I say sometimes. They just come out. I was going to send you a message saying how great everything is here and how everyone loves me. I've had a promotion to a very important security dossier. I'm treated like a hero. But really, this is a cold, wet planet. The scientists are full of themselves. There's no action to speak of. The only thing I look forward to is weekly games of Alien Intruder, but more than that, of coming home to you. I am sorry for all the times I did not appreciate you. <sighs> of our family, uh, or the good life we had. And I... <laughs> no cheating, okay. If you're not cheating, then you won't mind if I record this conversation. Is that right? I have nothing to hide. Then what were you whispering about with Vin? Nothing. Th that guy is so lawful good, it's annoying. Wait, so you were trying to cheat. But no cheating occurred. So, what does it matter? It matters to team morale. If you can cheat in the game, how can they trust you out there? I'm sorry, did you feel left out? Perhaps you would like to make a deal. Ugh, Parvin, no. You're shameless. You really never give up, do you? I don't. That's true. <laughs> Have a manual put that in my next eval. Very persistent. All right. Now, we got the strange place for security bunker. <laughs> strange place for security bunker. I didn't hear that one. It we just went this. 
Yes, it, he did. He realized. Alan realized that before I did. The person who worked here also lived in the storage, which is on the island all the way back on the other side. Well, we got a new thing though. Yeah, Parvin's bed. Look at that thing. The bed is good. Th this bed is also cute. See that? But Parvin's bed though. And we got some more stuff like posters and such. So, I'm gonna leave the video here. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Uh, thank you for watching my fellow maniacs, is what I should say. That's my outro. <laughs> Smash that like button if you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button while you at it as well, and ring that bell button if you want to see more videos. And I will see all of you beautiful maniacs in the next video. Bye bye!